on that this weekend. The AJHL League Finals are underway this weekend. The Brooks Bandits took Game 1 at home Friday night, crushing the Fort McMurray Oil Barons 5-1. But while the top teams in the AJ battle it out for the league title, the Bobcats are already busily preparing for next season. The 2012-13 season promises to be drastically different than this past year. The Bobcats head coach and general manager Brian Curran is gone. Seven of the team's top eight scorers, gone. This weekend, the Bobcats hope they are looking at some of the players of the future at the 2012 spring camp. We need a goalie next year and there's definitely a few that could contend for that position. So uh, it's looking good and otherwise there's a good couple kids out there that are, make good plays with the puck and it's just smart, right? And uh, they could probably push for a spot come fall. There's a great number of guys that can definitely do some wonderful things with the puck and it's good to see and it might bring a lot of stuff to our team next year. 105 prospects from across Western Canada and the States are with the Bobcats hoping to make an impression that will get them invited back to the fall main camp. The players want to be noticed but are keeping a simple approach. It's not totally different from what I've been used to but uh, it's definitely a little faster you know. Playing hockey and having fun, so. Yeah. Not, don't be scared, don't be intimidated, play your game. Uh, if you play nervous, you never, never play your best. While the Bobcats are still without a head coach, the veteran players are doing some scouting of their own. Uh, it's just kind of seeing the chemistry between the guys, maybe for the guys that are going to make the team next year and see how they mix in with everybody. The camp includes on-ice drills, off-ice training with Cujo conditioning, and an education seminar.